I thought I would do this with you because some of you have been asking the different ways that I make a matcha and I make them hot and I make them cold and there are a couple of different things that I use and ways that I do it and it of course depends on whether I'm in the house or out the house as well as to how I make it so we're making matcha first and then we actually have a DIY project <laughs> that we need to work on together I have a plant pot that has literally been sitting in the house for ages and it was so cute I didn't want to have it as an outside plant pot so it's going to be an inside pot and I'm painting it. But for the matcha, I recently got into this because, like, how did I get into this? Oh, I went to Blank Street for the first time ever after years of hearing everyone rave about the coffee. And I decided, because I'd already had a coffee that morning, not to have a coffee. And I thought, I'm just going to get a matcha. There was a white chocolate one. I was like, mm, it sounds kind of nice, but I'm not like a matcha fan. But my friend was getting it and I was like, mm, FOMO, like, I'm going to want to try it. I'm just going to get my own. Stunning, delicious, unreal divine changed my life so i bought this this is actually on sale in my local tesco's i think they do it in like the holland and barrett bit at tesco i really like this i didn't have high expectations because i don't know i just didn't but it actually tastes really nice and it has made me realize that i must have had some very bad matcha with the matches i've tried in the past so yeah this is my favorite one at the moment i've tried like a couple but i haven't tried like loads i've tried a couple in the past and didn't love them but i don't know if there are better ones out there but this one for the taste and the price i really like i think it's like 10 pounds for a 30 gram pack and i really like the fact that the packs are so easy to travel with that's a big plus for me because i don't want to carry around like a tin or a jar or anything like that so i do really like this one so i'm going to make a cold one so i like to have these glasses these are from amazon they're actually really big i generally tend to put a lot of ice in my matches when i use these glasses because otherwise that that's a big drink that i do not need so i take sometimes a full teaspoon sometimes half a teaspoon of matcha one thing i actually didn't know about matcha is although it has more caffeine in it which is one of the reasons why i was actually on the fence on the day that i got the matcha because i was like oh i don't i don't want the extra like caffeine but i obviously want to drink i didn't realize that although it has more caffeine in it than coffee the way in which it spikes it basically doesn't spike i will find a graph and put it on the screen but it basically coffee is like a quick spike and a quick come down whereas matcha is like a very slow increase and then a very slow decrease and i found since having this that i don't have like any like coffee shakes i have way more reduced anxiety don't get me wrong i am still the worst in terms of like overthinking anxiety and like but i don't get the like really tense anxiety that i think caffeine brings on but still still have my generalized anxiety just popping the kettle on because i like to add a little bit of water into this just to help it blend it doesn't need to be boiling in my opinion some may disagree with me it doesn't need to be boiling i actually prefer it when the water's not boiling but it's like a little bit hot i use this syrup which is 1883 these are the syrups that they use in bank street i had a little look when i was watching them make all the coffees if you want the blueberry matcha they use the blueberry one of this apparently in the blueberry matches and i think they also might use this but they use something else in the white chocolate matches as well but this does enough i personally feel like this makes my matcha taste very similar to the bank street one not exactly the same but like good enough i free pour measure as you desire i'm a sugar fiend so the more syrup the better and i have in the past just blended the matcha and the syrup but i don't i don't recommend i do like to make sure it is fully like whizzed and then i get my little whisk you can get these off amazon you can get way cuter ones than this i actually got sent this in a press packet and i thought when am i ever going to use that and then she had a lemon. And this is great, like I take this away with me and I'll just blend my matcha directly into milk when I'm away because I can't be bothered to like be making this whole concoction like at a breakfast when I'm trying to like socialize or like eat or there's loads of people around or whatever. This actually takes a lot longer than you would think. I've made the mistake this morning of actually doing this in the glass I'm gonna be drinking from. I don't always like doing that. You will probably see in like the other matcha 
montages when I'm making them. I don't, I tend to do it in like a jug or something for presentation reasons only, really. I also find if there's any lumps left at the bottom, I can kind of tackle them a little bit easier. I'm gonna put that aside for a second because I come back to that. Spoon to make sure. I know that I should probably get one of those like whiskey things that the real matcha girlies have. I see them use it in the coffee shops all the time. Honestly, I don't just because I'm lazy, but maybe I should try it at some point. I'm sure there's like a pro to doing it and the real like matcha peeps are gonna be really angry at me doing this. However, something the matcha peeps might also get angry at me for is the fact that if I am feeling really lazy, I will just throw my milk and my matcha powder in a blender together. It's great and it tastes like a milkshake so it makes it like really, Froth, froth, bony, frothy, whichever. Insert your chosen word here. So now I'm just adding in my soy milk, I'm making a little one today because I actually don't love having too much soy milk, but it's all we have right now. And then I, again, come back to my whisk because this gives the milk a really nice texture. This is not a necessary step. I just really enjoy doing it. This seems dragged out, but it's actually quite a quick process in the morning. Way quicker for me than making a coffee with the coffee machine. Ice is not a necessary step when I just, enjoy and obviously like i said i like my drink to look bigger than it is and then i have my little straw which is from amazon and this is like i think the perfect color i could go a little bit darker as well what i don't like what i have learned i really don't like is a weak matcha because then you're basically just getting like weird flavored milk i had a matcha on the seafront in brighton the other day and i thought it would be really good because it the place was kind of like matcha specialized no no. The best matcha that I've had in Brighton is from a cafe called Workshop. They do great coffee, great everything anyway. They're also like a little, they have a little interior section as well. They used to just be in a home store and now they've kind of set up as a cafe. Genius. And they make the best matcha that I've had in Brighton. They do it properly with the little whiskey thing and they flavor it with maple syrup which is actually really really delicious i would definitely recommend that if you're not into syrups but you want to add some sweetness to your matcha maple syrup is really nice oh that's perfect mm. and to me there's a very little difference between this and the blank tree you just have to make sure you use enough of the syrup and make sure the matcha is fairly strong i would say like three quarters of a teaspoon to a full teaspoon anything under half for a large drink no 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 so that's how i make my matcha if you enjoyed this tutorial when i make them hot at the moment if i do it at home it's actually a very similar process i just foam the milk with my coffee machine oh the one other thing i would say is if you are using almond milk and not soy milk or oat milk almond milk is a lot thinner so i actually prefer to blend the matcha just straight into the milk because otherwise i find it quite watery and again like i've said i like it strong and sweet not watery at all and don't put your ice in first if you're using almond milk you can kind of get away with it if you're using oat or soy but with almond milk you have to be very careful at not watering down your face because otherwise it just tastes wrong but anyway cheers oh my god make a wish make a wish doesn't count if you don't tap it tap the screen so like i said i have this diy project going on this morning i am slightly terrified that i'm doing this inside but hopefully i won't make too much of a mess i'm painting this plant pot i already primed it quite poorly <laughs> at the weekend this is from carpietra but i think there's a few brands that do these like scalloped pots i got sent it and it's so cute but i did really want to keep it inside i'm actually thinking i might just get a load of them and have quite a few outside my friend kate has done it and she got loads and put them outside and they're so so sweet and i love it so yeah potentially going to do that but i have this plant that i think would just look so nice in this but i really wanted to paint it a color and i'm actually thinking that like stripes could work really nicely i'm thinking like a green stripe over this kind of off-white base and then painting the inside green as well worst comes to worst if things go really tits up i'm just going to paint it all this green because i think this green is stunning this is from little green again this is a very cake color and that's actually because she gave this to me i told her what i was thinking of doing and asked her opinion and she was like oh i have the perfect color for you so thanks honey so i'm gonna give this a go wish me luck I literally haven't painted since i was at school so <laughs> i painted the walls in this house white and that is the only painting that i've done so wish me luck so i had a real entertainment dilemma for whilst i am painting the plant pot i was like do i watch gilmore girls do I watch Emily in Paris or do I listen to my current favorite album which is What Happens Now by Dasha? This album is so good. I love singing along to this in my kitchen. It is just 
the best it is the best i listened to it three times on my walk this morning like my walk takes around 50 minutes and i literally just listened to this on repeat it's not a long album either like it's not a 31 song album miss swift 31 songs ahead of june miss swift this is a, is a project for me but yeah this is uh one two three four five six seven eight songs a gorgeous album i love it favorite songs what happens now because it's just such a vibe 42 drown me king of california and obviously austin because it's stuck in all of our brains thanks to tiktok i think it's really funny on the days when I listen to this album. If Lauren is also listening to like, Lauren's a big, big country girly, and we have a joint playlist on Spotify. I don't know if you've seen that it does this thing where you can have like a playlist with your friend, but I have like a Lauren and Susie one and Spotify updates it. And if I listen to that album and then she's listening to all of her music, like the our playlist goes really country it's so funny so i'm looking forward to seeing how that playlist is gonna look at the end of the day but anyway yeah i think i'm gonna listen to this album because it's just just in my head all the time <laughs> pot is done i was not sure at first it's growing on me there was a moment where i did start like just attacking it with my paintbrush because i wasn't sure the stripes were gonna work but we reined it back in i think it's gonna look really sweet this hydrangea in it i'm just waiting for it to dry i'm tempted to get like a gloss finish for it ryan thinks that it would look cute and i think I think I agree, but part of me does love the matte, so maybe I'll just like sit with it for a day or two. But yeah, I love the green inside. I think it looks so good. What do we think? Stripes or should I just cover it all in the green? I kind of like the fact that it's like contrasted to the inside though, so. Anyway, I think it looks really cute with the pink flower that's gonna go inside. And for anyone that wants to know the paint color, this is Whimsy by Little Green. Very cute. And then I used a masonry paint. God knows if you're even meant to do that, but this is Cotton Belt by Sandex and she's done. I'm very happy with her. She needs more soil. I'm actually really happy with it. I did a good job in my opinion as someone that has absolutely no expertise in this area. Good morning. We are utilizing my day off today. I can't remember if I said I was meant to be in Paris speaking for TikTok. I understand why this maybe did not actually go ahead in hindsight because why would TikTok want me to speak for them? I very rarely have good things to say. But yeah, that's what I had today and tomorrow blocked out for doing. So I actually have two gorgeous days of the week that have no plans in the calendar. And that rarely happens. Like usually I've got a couple of London days. They really like take it out of me. I'm highly sensitive to like external stimuli i find it wipes me out for the next day and i don't even feel like talking and vlogging like i have to recharge that badly it's really nice that i haven't had that this week so i i'm not having a recharge day and i don't mean a recharge day like i just sit on the sofa i wish but just like i actually can't be bright and sparkly i'm not having one of those days so it feels really good and i also had no plans which is stunning so we are going to go into brighton i actually have some things that i want to look for i have an idea for this this is going to sound wild i have an idea for a piece of art that i want in my home and it doesn't exist so i'm thinking i'm going to make it potentially so i'm going to go and like just look at stuff and see if i can find the stuff that i need and want we've got a few other errands to do i've got returns and i really go into brighton just for like a wander left to my own devices with my own thoughts like i'm so excited to just like walk around with my headphones in for an afternoon like i have not done that since maybe like 2019 i used to do it all the time i used to live in brighton and i just used to walk in headphones in why did i have so much more free time i didn't have a dog i didn't have a house didn't have a boyfriend <laughs> i didn't have as many friends as i do now yeah it kind of made, yeah it makes sense but anyway let's go say the high street is dying and we're all really sad about it brighton is doing it to itself it had no things that i needed did i spend money anyway yes it's like those shops that like these shops are paying rent but they like have nothing in them it's actually quite bizarre however do you know what has just appeared in our shopping center again mango we have not had a mango since i was like 13 however i did go to the photo i don't know what you call it the photo developers and i got some film i fully stocked up which is very sensible of me because i always just buy a single roll whenever i go in there and it's so dumb because it's so expensive film the photos will be winging in their way to me next week and i also got a crystal i don't know if you meant to take them out when you're like not in the house it's so pretty 
Gorgeous. They had so many nice ones, but this one I was just like, I am vibing with you. I know they say that you're meant to like, one is meant to like call out to you and that's the one you're meant to get. However, I would say that that always happens to me with amethyst crystals and I have at least two already. So did I need a third? No. Although lol, they're meant to be good for anxious people. Just have one in every room as well. We also got things for dinner. Let's be productive whilst we're out. And then hungry. I'm in my third week of my cycle where i just want to eat everything it's like a two lunch situation oh my god it's so good honestly this week of the month it was like i've never tasted food before my mum is texting me hello stunning sending me her wedding dress option mm, yes she's so funny oh love her okay i'm gonna finish this and then we're going home Mm. No, stop! My stereo is broken again. It's just not connecting to my phone. Anyway, let's get out of here before the cheeky people at the parking head office try and charge me for another hour. I will not be having that. I got halfway through trying to be a hand luggage only girl and I have very quickly given up. I'm gonna be paying BA another £40. Stunning. Hello. How are you doing? I am currently packing for two separate trips, one to London and one to Ibiza. My brain is melting trying to go between the two. I thought I was gonna wear this jacket to London, but I just can't do it. I think I'm so nervous that I just need to be in like full sweats and just look terrible, but I will feel comfortable. I'm so nervous that every time I try to put together an outfit today, I've taken it off. So yeah, I will just be in my leggings and my Uggs and maybe a hum. Maybe just gonna steal Ryan's hoodie. This is packing for London. I have a shoot tomorrow and I know that I'm actually not nervous. I'm just excited but the buzzy feeling you get just if you're an anxious person excitement kind of just feels the same as feeling nervous and anxious. So I'm trying to remember that I am excited and it's going to be so fun and there is nothing bad that is about to happen in like well touch wood touch wood not that everything is gonna be great. There's no wood in here. We need to put something wood in this room. Oh, door. There we go. Yeah, everything, everything's good. I'm trying to pack for two different trips. It has melted my brain. I realized this morning that it is not the best weather in Ibiza, like right now. When we're there, it's going to be much better, but it's, it's raining right now, which basically means when we get there, it's gonna be lovely and sunny because all the rain's like got out of its system, but it's going to be cooler so instead of bikinis i've obviously packed a few but i don't think it's real like laying out weather especially because i don't really like lay out in the sun too much like an umbrella always ends up going up and like i don't really sit out in the sun so it's just so to sit in the shade in a bikini i actually do need it to be quite warm so it's basically like really lovely spring summer uk outfits that i'm gonna need which means that i need more room in my suitcase i'll talk to you about ibiza more on our way out there but there's there's a dress code that i have to adhere to as well at some point so now i'm just needing to pack things that I did not anticipate. I also now may need to wash my hair when I'm out there. So yeah, I need a medium suitcase and not hand luggage only. I then also have this very, very large, that is a large suitcase for tomorrow's shoot. So there are about 30 dresses in, not 30, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of dresses in this case. <laughs> okay, I think I've done all I can. I think this is the point where I have to leave the house and just Hope for the best. I can return to this tomorrow. I've actually got an ASOS order coming and some of those bits might work really well in this. That spending ban we talked about, she hasn't kicked in yet. She's not here. Oh my God, no way I'm getting that downstairs on my own. Also, please ignore the mess in here. My life is chaos right now. Oh, wow. Oh my God, there's so much space. Oh cute! Oh my god, this is literally like my dream. I love being up in the sky. Oh my god. The views! Stunning! Oh my god. <gasps> wow. I love walking around this park. Okay, we are in. First thing I am doing is throwing on Ryan's hoodie. Mm, this is my idea of heaven. Being in a hotel room alone. <laughs> wearing Ryan's hoodie. Okay, sushi haul. I don't know what is good around here in London. So I was too scared to deliver things to myself. So instead I went to wasabi, which I said I'd never do because I did have 
a not great food experience, but we're trying again. We have got a salmon poke bowl. The avocado does look questionable, so I will proceed with caution. Then we have got a selection of some kind of salmon, salmon everything. Salmon and sesame, chumaki, salmon nigiri with soy sauce and wasabi sachets. Stunning. Then we have a dragon roll because these are my favorites. I had to resist just buying like three dragon rolls because I just feel like that's a bit feral. Like get a well-rounded dinner, Suze. Gyozas, vegetable gyozas. I'm going light on the soy sauce this evening because I don't want to look like a little puffer fish in the morning. I'm already in that part of my cycle where I'm puffy and bloated anyway. Like I, I, I don't need any more help in that area, I'm good. So this is me for this evening. I'm going to just watch a ton of youtube i feel like i have so many videos that i need to catch up on maybe watch some would i lie to you i'm really that is like my comfort tv show at the moment and i'm gonna get a lovely early night because i have to be up very early tomorrow the reason i'm staying here is because my call time is 9 a.m with hair and makeup done and given it takes two hours door to door to get to london you can only imagine what time i would have had to have gotten up to make it here on time so that is why i'm staying in the hotel that we are also shooting in so i can maximize the time so here we are okay highlight of this for me has got to be the vegetable gyozas yes i am dipping them in soy sauce even though i said i wasn't going to i can't help it i'll just be puffy and obviously the dragon roll the salad i could live without for some reason the salads just don't stay fresh anyway that is my food review also i recommend dipping your gyozas in your dragon roll sauce. This evening, I have decided to try something new. I am sleeping alone, so this is the perfect opportunity to try a heatless curl because I really need to get to grips with heatless styling to some extent because I just want my hair to be in better condition. I don't want to have to go back to the bob ever again. So this seems to be what needs to happen am i convinced this is going to work no let's try it anyway the internet girlies have said that spraying your hair with leave-in conditioner is a good idea i'm not sure on that if i'm honest because my hair then goes very soft and when it's very soft it doesn't hold a curl but you also need to wet it and if i just wet it with water my hair is going to go frizzy and super textured and that's actually not going to be what we want either jury's out on this one however it's good to try new things you know wish me luck i'm probably gonna need it trying to do it a bit like a french braid where you pick more hair up i know what you're thinking didn't you used to be a beauty girly on youtube just a girly of many things now including beauty okay <laughs> interesting how do people like make it tie at the back? That's my question. I'd be very interested to know that. I know what you're thinking. Why are you trying this the night before a shoot? And my reason for this is if it goes well, it's it's a bit of a win, a win-win situation. Like I can't lose. If it goes well, then I don't have to heat style my hair. But if it doesn't, I was prepared to heat style my hair anyway. So I can't lose, she says. So are we seeing why I wanted to do this when I was sleeping alone and not next to my fiance? I'm a bit concerned he might cancel the wedding if he sees me like this. Once we're married, it's over for him. Is there anything better than getting into bed? I will answer that for you. No, there is not. Like sometimes I actually find myself saying to people, oh, I'm just really tired. I just need to get into bed. I'm not tired. Like I say it out of habit to try and like justify the fact that I just want to be in my bed. I'm not actually tired. I'm just trying to make it seem socially acceptable for the fact that I just want to be in my bed all the time. Also, I got new glasses. They look actually horrendous with this situation. I actually took them off before I started talking to you because I was like, wow, they look so crazy with the hair you can't actually see the hair so badly when i'm like this so it's kind of fine these are the kinds of glasses that need makeup on not a giant spot like look at this of course this occurs in one of the funnest weeks of my life where i want to be cute look at it needs its own postcode it just isn't budging it's been on my face for about a week now so that's lovely but yeah what do we think i actually got a few sets of new glasses these are i think the funnest pair i think i've made the mistake of making one of these really long and then the other one is not. Is that gonna ruin this? I don't know if they're gonna 
day i think i think they'll actually hold i've got a feeling they're gonna actually take especially because i washed my hair this morning i don't know we'll see but anyway it is 20 past 10 i am going to go to sleep now because i need to be up very early so hasta la vista good morning turns out my friends aren't actually lying when they say i don't move in my sleep look at i'm actually kind of shocked i was expecting to wake up looking like crazy and have really fluffy hair that's like spiking out of the heatless clouds but i'm intrigued to see how they come out i know i shouldn't take them out already i should take them out at the last dying second but i don't want to get ready looking crazy i really wanted to feel my makeup so it's currently 6 38 i have made my blank street order i've done quite a large order can't wait for that to arrive all right we're going in with some clay de po this morning so we need all the help we can get i am so close to the bottom of this it's my first magic cream that i've completely used up oh it's just so buttery just exactly what i need also how gorgeous is this color this is cutie by the gel bottle so nice it's like the perfect spring pink but it's still got that like french manny kind of look to it it's a little bit like transparent it's basically like lip gloss nails I'm obsessed. I just realized that I'm gonna have to go downstairs and accept my coffee order. So we are taking these out now because I can go to the lobby in like my slippers and my robe, but I cannot go down to the lobby looking like this. There's somewhere that I need to draw a line and this is it. So what are the girlies on a TikTok do? They do it like this. Oh, but I've bent mine, so how is that gonna work? Oh my god. Am I gonna look like a poodle? This is the opposite of the problem I thought I would have. <laughs> no! When I said my hair is like actually quite malleable, I wasn't I wasn't wrong. I said that years ago. I didn't think it was anymore. I thought it was so dead now. I have five minutes until my delivery order is. <laughs> has five minutes to not look crazy oh my god right okay ryan's gonna have to get used to seeing me like this because if this stays like if i can actually brush this out and it looks nice this needs to be like a regular thing in my routine anyway i need to go downstairs he's gonna be here in three minutes this this guy his five minutes and my five minutes are wildly different so i need to go downstairs but i'll update you on this in a in a jiffy bye <laughs> Oh my god. I, n I rarely say it. This is one of the pros of being in London. There are not many things I like about being in London, but Blank Street is one of them. Wow. So we've got two warm blueberry matches that we're going to add ice to later. This is not just for me, by the way. Oh my god, where are all my croissants? Where's my vegan cinnamon bun and my vegan chocolate banana bread? It's fine because we have the iced white chocolate matcha, which was the most important thing. This is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Also, you guys, when I was looking on delivery, it kind of lists a lot of what Blank Street use. And actually, the iced white chocolate matcha, they don't use, they use a different matcha. But for the blueberry matchas, they use the same matcha I do. So my matcha recipe is so on point. That's why it's so close. I'm scared. Maybe I should bulk buy before this video goes live. What a great morning. Oh my god, this is also twice the size of the mattress that I would have at home. Mmm, it is so good. Anyway, let's do some makeup. I'm going to put the full makeup tutorial on my Instagram, just because a lot of people over there, I feel like you guys really know my makeup routine, but the girlies over on Instagram don't, and I get asked a lot, so I'm going to put my full makeup over there if you want to go and watch it. I feel like you guys really know the drill by now. It is 8.08. The sweet man on the desk has just informed me that this may actually be the room that we're shooting in, and I'm quite scared. So I've quickly thrown on an outfit in case anyone does arrive. I'm sure we're shooting in a different room, but just in case, I wanted to make sure that I was clothed and not in a robe because I don't know who's turning up first. So I've got my cos waistcoat on and I'm wearing the little Zara squawk as well. And then I've got my red cowboy boots on. I love a cowboy boot. I think that's going to be mostly what I pack for Ibiza given the fact that it's like 19 degrees. So it's like hot but not bikini hot. Oh my god, I actually had the worst nightmare about visiting my wedding venue. By the way, that's what we're doing. I kind of don't want to tell you about it because I'm scared that people are going to read into this too much. However, it's kind of too funny not to. So me and Ryan, we're like visiting our... Oh no. Honestly. Thank you so much. 
Okay, so they have in fact set me up in the room that we are going to be shooting in. It's honestly, it's kind of good that I don't actually make as much of a mess as everyone thinks I do. However, one of my eyeshadows has just shattered in the sink, so that's not great. You're going to have to wait until later to hear about my dream. <laughs> okay, keep this stuff away. <laughs> oh, what is life? Seriously. Let's get ready to shoot. I'm testing the blueberry matcha from Blank Street for the first time. Oh, wow. That's good, but I actually, so Rosie said she prefers this to the white chocolate. I actually don't know if I do. I think the white chocolate is more subtle. It does taste like a, it actually tastes like a blueberry muffin. It's still really nice, and I will drink all of this. This is my second matcha of the day, yes. Judge me what you want. Really going in with the concealer. Cute. We have a sneak peek. Mm, awesome. Wow. That's so nice. The light is so good. It is, isn't it? Oh, so cute. Gorge. <laughs> Look number two. It's giving Disney princess. It's very cute. And the shoes. Shooting in high park. Oh, are they opening the ice cream truck? That's so cute. Okay, see, so where are you thinking? The big, the big tall thing. building, the big thing, the big thing. We are. That's a wrap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, just wanted to give you an update and check in because I haven't seen you since I wrapped the shoot. I also didn't get to vlog as much as I would have liked today, which I was a bit sad about. We just had to crack on with the shoot. Do you know what? I don't know what's going on with my hair. My hair was perfect, like still really nice when we left the shoot. I don't know if it was because Ryan was cooking pasta and that it's made the house humid, but like my hair has gone so frizzy. I was fine when I left the shoot. I'm so confused as to what's happened, but to be fair, it's like a furnace in this house. Don't know what's going on. Anyway, I am currently packing a hand luggage only suitcase because BA will actually not let me is there something on my screen? BA will actually not, oh that's sticky what on earth has happened to you today? BA will actually not let me add on another bag like they won't let me, I think the uh, the plane must be full, I can't, I'm, I'm not even I googled, I don't even feel confident that I could rock up and check a bag and just pay an extortionate amount of money I would be scared that my luggage would actually just not be on the plane and I don't want to risk that because that would be very bad. So this is me packing the world's smallest suitcase and trying to fit everything I need into it. How am I meant to take my syrup for my matcha? Like Ryan's gonna have to take some liquids for me. He's gonna be taking the toothpaste and he's gonna be taking the syrup for the matcha because your girl cannot go without. Yeah, so it's not going well. Apart from this, I've had the best day. I feel like things are finally happening. Everything that we've been working on for a really long time out now is starting to like come together. Like it's literally the most exciting month full of like wedding stuff as well so it's just like everything I've been waiting for for the whole like first quarter of the year is finally like taking off and it feels really nice worth the intense hibernation that I went through in the earlier part of this year but now we are going into the chaos and I already do feel slightly overwhelmed like I need to get my life together when we get back we need a full like sort my life out deep clean room of requirement is terrifying but yeah i've had the best day it was just so good i can't wait to tell you more soon i still don't have the green light but i will be able to tell you very soon third of june third of june but anyway that is enough spoilering for today i think i've probably told you something that i shouldn't have but that is when i can tell you something put it in your calendars I'm gonna leave this vlog here because it might be really long. That is it from me. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in again this week and I will see you again very, very soon in Ibiza. Bye.